everyone welcome to path to nowhere so we're here to discuss the five free to play core breakers plus one honorable mention okay so to start off with the first one with the obvious one of course uh i think you've seen her in my uh what do you call this in my thumbnail so it's going to be hikate um free um especially if you're starting just uh, now after a month more or less this you know this core breaker has one of the best ones okay before we you know move further in terms of ikate why go with your free to play uh what do you call this free to play core breakers most of them actually have a low cost for their ultimate that's one um let's see let's see the average so it ranges from 20 up to, to 30 while your while your s rank core breakers usually have around 30 to 40 um, in terms of cost so they're very cost effective they have uh, you can really cycle their core breaking abilities as fast as you can because of the low cost so again going back to hekate so unleash the power of nightmare dealing total damage of um 819 which is a big damage for an ultimate magic damage and one core damage to all enemies in the target grid so for all enemies within one grid that have multiple for example you have four enemies in that grid which has cores or five or three then each and every one would be dealt core damages Okay, so that is how good Hekate's core damage is. And usually Hekate is going to be at the back of your front line, which is very good. Um, she could be safe from harm and um, you can actually add to her energy consumption reduction by three once you get more copies of her here i'm not gonna talk about the other you know the, the other parts of her skills most of the ones that i've been talking I'm, I'm going to be talking for all of the core breakers right now is related to their core damage only okay top would be hikate the next one that i will be discussing would be emp sad to say i haven't really um i haven't really leveled up emp i do need her for core breaking i need one who has a fast uh what do you call this fast uh cycle time in terms of core breaking in terms of their ultimate for her her cost is around 28 core damage is one but take note she can cycle she can have a fast cycle for her ultimate because of double arrow. So the charge of, of ultra EM arrow is refreshed when it scores a kill. The effect has a 42 second cooldown. So again, this makes her very potent. The problem with EMP is that if you have several in one area, in one square, she will target the one that is in the front. Okay, so take note of that when you unleash her ultimate make sure that your target is in the front because again if you just target blindly and if you miss your priority target in the back definitely she won't hit the back um if, if you have multiple uh enemies in one square definitely she'll target the first one with a core so again be be mindful of that one when you use when you unleash her uh, ultimate but again she is one of the fastest cycling ultimates with core damage that we have okay so she has 28 hekati has 30 we'll go next to another one that i wasn't able to really appreciate until now and it's pakasi so for pakasi herself so emits a strong regeneration dealing 100 percent of her attack magic damage and one core damage to all enemies within the skill range so this is going to be the skill range it's going to be all around her one core damage to all enemies so if you have multiple enemies in multiple squares there is going to be one core damage for all of them so not only one okay so Take note that each of your core breakers have different styles of core, you know, core breaking. 
So you have to take into consideration your play style as well. So moving on to the fourth one, which is going to be which is going to be Labyrinth. Labyrinth has a similar, similar, I'm not saying they're the same, similar style to Bai. So for those who don't have Bai yet, she is going to be your next best thing. Also, she is the lowest, lowest cost in terms of her ultimate for core damage. She only costs 20 for her ultimate. So again, you could, she's easily spammable in terms of core damage. So Labyrinth receives a purge order and moves to the target grid and deals attack 120% physical damage to all enemies five times. The first hit also deals one core damage and the purge order can charge up to two times. So again, she is going to be nimble but limited, a limited version of Bai, so to say. But again, her cost is half that of Bai's ultimate cost. So take note of that as well. Um, you might consider bringing both Bai and her in a team. Again, they are going to be... Uh, she is going to be your, you know, the, your cheap version or your, or your budget version for Bai. So again, that is four. And the last one for my top five would definitely be Che. So for Che... Um, Che is a B rarity, but one of our top, um, her class is Fury, one of our top Fury class here. So for her, um, no, no, for his, for his ultimate, this is going to be your range. It's a wide range. So Che declares the, the start of the hunt, throwing his axe and dagger, beating for an attack damage. Physical and one core damage to all enemies within range and to start to track them for 11 seconds. So, again, it's going to be a wide range. Che is going definitely going to be in the front. So, if she if he is placed in the middle, then there is a big wave of core damage, only one, but to all enemies within range. So, that you know rounds out our top five special mention. Um, I have to say this because I think she has also, you know, potential in her core breaking. This is going to be um, Sumire. So, again, core breaking. She has two core damage, by the way. Sumire blinks to the target grid, dealing 250 of your attack damage to all enemies in the four grids ahead for two times. So, take note that she blinks to that location. Two core damages to each of the four here. Okay. All enemies in the grid ahead for two times with one core damage each. Again, that's also a big factor. She's going to be your special, you know, uh, special mention, so to say. So, again, it's really up to you guys on who you're going to be choosing. By the way, Sumire's cost is going to be at around 31 so che is at 28 your lowest is labyrinth at 20 hikati is at 30 pakasi is at 29 emp is at 28 so they are very low cost in terms of your ultimate in terms of ability to to you know to cycle the court their core breaking ability so labyrinth hikati Pika, uh, pakasi emp che and sumire for your honorable mention so that is it, guys. Um, next up for my core breaking series is I'm um, going to be making a video probably tonight or tomorrow um, on how many core breakers do you really need in your team. So we'll discuss that in the next video. For now, take care. I'll see you in the next one.